Hey. What's up? So. I don't normally do this, but I decided to do it. I uh, wanted to share my experience so far with mining. Um, it's been some ups and downs. Uh, I wanted to give some tips. Uh, mining Ethereum. I have multiple uh, 30 series cards. And uh, <clears throat> I think I might have something that might be helpful for you. So let me get started here. Um, so the first thing that I wanted to talk about was um, when I first started mining, I uh, kind of went hardcore. I pushed the memory clock real high up. Um, so far, it was okay, but I think I killed one of my cards. Um, like, it won't... It's really weird. Like, it, it's like it, it's as if it's, like, stuck in flash mode, but it, it still displays out. It's a 3070 um, EVGA. And uh, it doesn't have a dual BIOS, or v, v BIOS, whatever. So I can't just, like, flip the switch on it. So, uh, that, that really scared me, and, um, so I was thinking of a different strategy also because it's starting to get warm where I am, and, uh, I don't live in a very ventilated apartment, so I was like, hmm, how can I do this? Uh, so I was like, I'll just lower the power real low, and like just tweak the memory so like before I was like pushing the memory here I'll just show you Hold on. Uh, let me pull up my rig info here or just like my rig screen um, I'm not going to edit this. No. No, 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 no. This is all partially live. No way. Uh, plus, it's YouTube. You could just skip ahead. So, let me just make sure I'm not exposing anything. Uh, okay. And... Okay, I think this is fine with my head like this, yeah. right? Why not? So, like, here's what was going on, okay? I used to tweak this thing all the way up to like, you know, 1450, I'm not doing it now. And then I would like, uh... You know, I'd still do this, and then I would put this, I think, at the same power level, and uh, then I would go here, and I have this trick I do with the uh, underclocking. So, but I don't want to dig into that just yet. Um, so what I did instead, because what I think is important besides um, hash rate you know I think the amount of shares you're getting per minute is more important than your actual hash rate you could have a really high hash rate and uh, you know you're getting shit for shares 
just for some reason. I don't know. Maybe like your memories is fucking the whole thing up. And uh Can I curse? I can curse, right? Yeah. And uh I had a brain fart, what was he doing? Um Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So shares per minute is like way more important. Okay. Because that's what's getting sent to the mining pools. So you don't want to have a low share per minute. So what I mean by that is like I'm using T-Rex miner, right? And you can see here it's showing me uh, shares per minute and the average, right? So with my setup before where I was like pushing the video cards way up I was averaging about I think 5.5 um, yeah 5.5 shares per minute but I was pushing the cards to the limit right and so they're gonna die a lot faster so you gotta think about longevity you know I'm not a guy that can just easily tear apart a video card and do all the thermal pad stuff I'm gonna have to do it but I don't want to do it that often um, I'm like an average miner. I'm, I'm not even, I'm like a novice here, okay? Uh, so my strategy now is I'm, even though I have powerful cards, I'm going real low. So you can see the hash rate is not at the maximum, it's 55, but I've only sacrificed about, what is it, 0.7 shares per minute? Which is not that big of a deal when you look at it in the long run. Like, it doesn't make that much more money. And the return you're getting for damaging your cards, it's not worth it in my opinion. Nah, it's not worth it. So I was like, and I saved a bunch of money on electricity. Because look at this, look at this. 109 watts, 104. And I can actually get this lower. The reason it's high right now is because it's like warmer in my apartment, which is like a whole other thing. I know it's like... As soon as it gets hot, it, it's like more difficult for the memory to um, work like a human. You know, you get hot, you don't want you don't want to do anything. It's the same thing. You know, it gets hot, it doesn't want to do anything. It, go, it goes slow, and then it, it gets hotter. Uh, but there's nothing really I can do about it unless I just like lower the uh, memory clock. Um, so that's kind of the point I wanted to make was that like I, I, I haven't really seen anybody talking about this. Everyone's always kind of like, oh yeah, you know, plus 1300 megahertz, plus 1400 and all this stuff. <clears throat> I'm just like, what about plus 100? What about plus 200 or 300 and like balancing that out? Uh, because what matters here also is kilo hash per watt, right? So you look at that. I was pretty much getting the same efficiency on the higher um, the higher clock rates for the memory. So there's that. You know, there's the higher <clears throat> the efficiency is not really any different. All I'm doing is. I don't really know if it's actually making things that much slower because I was doing some math and I think my uh, break even is still pretty much the same, even though I'm mining less. But the thing is, I'm getting solid share count, right? So the, the, the amount of shares I'm sending is, is solid, right? And the other cool thing, <coughs> a new update, uh, uh, T-Rex Miner has been updated the other day, and now they validate the shares for you before it even goes out. <clears throat> so you see here, not a single rejected share. No invalids at all. Um, and so it's super clean, uh, lean, and I, I'm pretty proud of this setup here. I got, you know, I got like... Uh, I'm still running six cards. The other one's out of commission. I had seven. Dude, I was so pissed, man. Like, 
I had just bought another 3060 Ti and I was like, yes, I have seven cards. But of course one had to die in the same day. I mean, it's kind of good timing, but it's like shit timing. You know, it's like, why? Why? So, um, another brain fart. Uh, so what I wanted to show you is I wanted to show you the new, the new T-Rex miner. It's, uh, version 19.14. So it's pretty sweet. I love T-Rex miner for a few reasons. One of them being that I set up this config file. I hope this doesn't expose anything. I probably should... Uh... Here, hold on a second. You're gonna look at the. You're gonna look at space for a second, okay? No, 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 no. Wait. Where is that thing I had? Yeah. All right. Hold on. Let me just make sure I'm not exposing any security problems. Um. I think it should be okay. I mean, the worst case scenario is you just give me money because you see my wallet, right? Whatever. Oh, wait, yeah, this is actually really bad. You can't see this. Hold on. This, is, this would not be good to see. No. How do I... Actually, you know, I'll show you something else instead. This will be easier. My monitor is up there. Um, wait, no, not that, not, not that, no, 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 no. Um. Okay. And then I gotta move OBS. Alright, you see this? <clears throat> so this is what you get with T-Rex Miner. You get a nice... What are you doing? Stop it. You get a nice GUI. I'll zoom in for you. You got, they got dark mode. I mean, I'm already have dark mode on, but... Um, so this is their newest GUI. Uh, you can see all your stats and monitor it. I have it linked up to my, uh, my mining rig. And you set that up in the config file. Sorry, this video is going to be all over the place. So, I mean, imagine you're just sitting in a room with me, hanging out, and we're talking about this as opposed to, like, these videos that just kind of spoon feed you like all this info at once i'm gonna just be talking about a bunch of stuff uh anyways so yeah you can monitor everything here and you can actually limit this with the config file and if you set it up properly you can edit the config file while you're mining and save it um and my the reason I switched to T-Rex Miner was because I've been having networking issues. Um, I'm not really sure why I bought a bunch of new equipment. It still kind of happens once in a while, but it's not so bad. I'm pretty sure it's my Netgear 5 port switch. So I bought a new switch. I'm waiting for that to come in. Um, anyway. ADD moment. Um, long story short, the reason I picked this was because T-Rex will keep on mining even if you go offline. So if you have connection problems like me, and you don't want to have to redo everything every time you lose the internet because your mining rig is like, no, where is the connection? I'm, I'm, I'm done. That doesn't happen with T-Rex. It just keeps on chugging along, and it's like, I'm waiting for the internet. I'm going to keep doing this. 
when it restarts, I mean, it'll still be kind of janky. I mean, you might have some stale shares, but this latest update verifies all of the shares and blocks stale shares from going to the mining pool. So uh, T-Rex is pretty much, I think it's, it's the best. It's like, I used to swear by Phoenix Miner, but then, you know, obviously the dev is evil. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, so with T-Rex Miner, you just, as long as you do this, you set the path and, and do those double thingies for the log path, you can save the file. Um, and also do this. So you just set those two locations up to where your config file is actually saved. And this is this is all of the stuff that's in the space here. So if I save this, um, like if I saved it right like right now for any for some reason, like I hit save, and it's like, hey, congratulations, you saved a file, and it's over there. And I'm on another computer. This is actually my main computer, right? So that's the other cool thing. Uh, so if I go back to here. And you, you check out the the mining rig. It shows you, hey, you saw this API call for saving your shit. It's pretty sweet, huh? I like that. Um, little little things like that. Um, and there's a setting here. Where was it? The one that tells it to not disconnect or stop mining. Keep GPU busy. I haven't seen another um, miner that does this, so it'll just keep running. You lose internet, it's gonna keep on going. You gotta do some troubleshooting on your router or switch. Keep the miner going. Saves you some time and effort, you know. Um, and. So that's a that's a great thing about it. Um, other than that, what else did I want to go over? Oh, flex pool. So, I've tried a number of pools. Um, I started out with um, Ethermine, and then I switched to Spark Pool. So I swore by Spark Pool for a while. Ethermine, for some reason, I was getting a lot of stale shares on. So I, I got out of there and I noticed um, I was trying to learn more about um, like the payment systems, like, you know, PPS Plus versus like PPLNS and all that. And I was like, well, maybe PPS Plus would be better for me. So I tried Spark Pool and it was good. I was making good money on it. Um, and. But like my brother and all his friends, they all serve by Hyveon. And Hyveon's also PPS plus and they're good and they got low you know, the, the zero fee thing and I was like, but like uh I didn't feel like changing. I was just too lazy. Um And I did end up trying Hyveon. Um for one reason something happened with Spark Pool. I don't know what, but the latency got real bad. The latency was amazing for Spark Pool. It was the best latency I had. It was like 23 milliseconds or something. Um, and so, and I switched to Hyveon and the latency is awful. I mean, it wasn't awful, but it was like not great. And it's like 78 for me. I'm, I'm in California, so I don't know what the deal was with that. Um, and as soon as I got paid out, I was like, I'm out because of flex pool and i wanted to get mentally and physically and technically prepared for 1559 um and i heard that flex pool was paying out the uh, mev stuff so i was like looking into it and i'm like is it really paying more and it does it actually does pay more um i've noticed um a substantial increase. I think I, I'm making point, point 0.4 more Ethereum per week. No, not point 0.4. Um, 
0.04 more. 0.04 to 0.06 more Ethereum. And that's after reducing my hash rate. So I even lowered my hash rate and took a card off and I'm still making more money than I was at full power. So Flexpool is pretty, pretty awesome, I would say. Um, I wanted to show you, show y'all uh, Flexpool to see what I mean. Um, so here's Flexpool, right? And I was watching some other videos about it, so I'll show you what I found as well to see the difference and how you can actually tell when a mining pool is paying out MAV. Uh, one thing you can do is, I mean, not every pool shows you the block data to this detail. Detail. Um, but what you can do here is you select the block that was mined. Oh, wait, no. Go back. Uh, you open it in another window, right? You pop that over here. Pop that over here. And then you look at the data. You look at all the data. You look at it. And you can see... Wait, what, what happened here? Wait, hold up. I don't want... Hold on a second here. Oh, oh. This guy has 42... What the heck? No, 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 go back. What, what did I do again? You go... Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. You go to more blocks. Right, 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 right. More blocks. And then, then it'll show you the actual reward. So, you look at the block number. 942. Make sure that matches up with... Um... That block number. I don't know why I'm, I'm spacing out on this right now. It doesn't match because I, I refreshed it, right? So let's just bring this one up instead. So this is on Etherscan, that one that everyone always goes to. So this block, 942, 942. The payout was 563 on Flexpool. Payout here. 563. Okay, so it doesn't happen for every single one of them, I guess. But it happens a lot. So if you go to this one, let's see, 5.16. See, I told you, this is all live. I'm not trying to lie here. Okay, see, look. Oh, but it rounded, huh? Mm, okay, another one. I swear to... Why is it doing this when I'm recording? What the hell? 4.3. Five point two nine. Five point two nine. What happened here? They're not paying out anymore? What's up? Seven five two, seven five two, five six three. Ah, see, there we go. Look. See? I'm not lying. Five point six three, seven five two. Uh seven five two. Five point four seven. So they paid out 0.2 more ether on this on this one. Um, I don't know how it works, but they're paying out more. Uh, I guess not every block, but um, a lot of them. Like if you go to the next one, we go to 607. Straight out. 607, 607. This is 582. 582. Oh. Maybe it's like every other block. Five point four five. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what governs this whole thing, but they, they're. I, I've noticed in my payout, or at least like my calculation, that I'm getting paid more. That's for sure. Um, I can show you my wallet. So far. Um, 
So, this is leftovers from before, but it's pretty low. I mean, I'm still like 99.6. When I was like at my peak of doing the shenanigans I was doing, I was like falling into like 98%, like 98.5% valid shares. And as soon as I reduced the memory and did, and T-Rex came out with that thing, which was like yesterday, I started doing it. Um, it's pretty much just annihilated all of the crap shares. Um, and the other cool thing is that you can actually, um, well, you can, I don't want to show you, I'm not sure if there's something private in there, I forgot. But you can customize how much you donate to the pool. And uh, it can go down to like nothing, zero. Which is not cool. I mean, you should at least pay them 1%, like a decent human, you know. They're doing a, providing a service. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else I really wanted to talk about in this video. I just wanted to show you my different mining technique that I haven't really seen many people doing, where I just like lower the video cards a lot and um, I swear by T-Rex I'm swearing by flex pool oh you know what there was one thing else I wanted to show that I found on YouTube was um, you can actually mine um, Cardano if you wanted to so I'm mining I'm gonna I'll actually I'll put a link to this because I get paid and you can get paid too. Uh, you get paid for your referrals. So if you get this referral link of mine, I will get a portion of the pay. So they basically, they reduce the fee for mining with them. The fee is 1.1%. And if you use the referral link, it's 0.75. And then uh, I would get the 0.25 or whatever, you know, like if you refer it to your friend from your link, you get 0.25 extra. Yeah, it's not that much, but you know, it helps. Uh, I'm actually mining this with the, with my just normal main video card. I'm actually mining on this computer right now, but super low. I'm doing the same technique on this too. See, look, see? Well, actually, no, I'm not. I have it on normal, but I'm like, I'm using energy anyways. I don't give a shit. I'm just mining. So yeah, I'm getting a little Cardano here, a little Cardano mining. But Unminable is awesome. This is, it doesn't really pay that great, actually. But it's great for getting coins that are hard to, like you don't want to like trade for it. Maybe you just want to buy it. I mean, you just want to mine it. And they got a lot of like random like tokens and things and that. You can choose what algorithm you want. Like with Cardano, I can either mine with this like your CPU pow all this stuff I tried using like my 970 and 780 it wasn't working I don't kind of sucks but yeah this is pretty sweet and uh, it's straightforward it's kind of the same it's like the same concept as nice hash except less user friendly and um, you get you know, you get four choices for your algorithm, and you get, you know, I, I this is much better than Nice Hash in my opinion, because you get, you can actually still mine Ethereum if you want, and you can mine just a bunch of things that are, that are usually staked, you know, staked, st st stakes, yeah, pr yeah, you know what I mean. You can mine Monero with ET hash. Now, that's pretty sweet, huh? Eh? Monero. Um. Well, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. I think. Um, I would show you my rig, but 
I don't really feel like moving the camera. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down to meet more people. I'm not here to make money. This is not a job for me. I mean, crypto is kind of turning into a job, but like this YouTube thing, I'm just posting for whatever. Um, so yeah, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for listening. Uh, if you got any advice, whatever, let me know. I right. peace out. Yo dog. Man.